Well, I'm going to do something a bit different today. Um, I realised yesterday when I was uh, fiddling around with that mudguard that um, that I need something to put the frame onto whilst I'm doing this. Uh, because I can't be hauling it around, particularly as I put more stuff onto it. So what I've got is, um, I've got a couple of these uh, furniture dollars. And I've got a bunch of wood left over from uh, from repairing the deck the other day. So I'm going to build a frame onto one of these dollies so that I've got something to fix the frame down onto. Um, and then uh, and then it gives me somewhere to start assembling the bike and um, also somewhere to store all the parts as they get uh, as they get finished. So um, a bit of woodwork today. Well, here's my uh, mobile bench. Seems to be fairly um, fairly solid, all made out of scrap. So I'll put some uh, blocks onto it and then see how I can attach the frame to it. Quite pleased with that. Here it is with the uh, the frame mounted. I've um, I've done it with some cable ties. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty solid. So I might put some concrete blocks in the bottom as, as the bike gets heavier. But um yeah quite uh, quite pleased with that. And now back on to actually uh, continuing with the restoration. Well this pile is the um is the remaining uh, things that need to be done. I've emptied the box of bits and this is what's left of what's got to be done before I can start actually reassembling the frame um, to see if I've got all, all of the uh, relevant bolts and things. So I've got the shocks to do. Um, I need to make a, I want to take these to pieces at least to check that the uh, shock is working so I need to make a little spring compressor to, for those. Uh, there's some odd brackets and things that still need to be done. I've got the oil tank and the fuel tank to do, and a few bits and pieces that need to be painted here. But the pile's getting uh, getting a lot smaller. <clears throat> so what I'm going to have a look at next is the um, is the uh, rear light bracket. Um, like most <laughs> tinware on this bike, I don't know if you can see. This has actually already had a stress fracture or a fatigue fracture along here that's been welded back together again after a fashion. Um, so I'm going to clean this up and uh, first thing to do is to have a look at the fit on the new mudguard. So let's have a look at that. So here's the mudguard with its split. Um, but I think that this, I'm going to bolt on pretty low on it down here, which will actually bridge across where that, uh, where that split is to give it some more support. But you can see the, um, if I do that, the angle of this uh, bracket is not right. It needs to be needs to be dropped down. So I've got to increase the uh, acuteness of the the two angles on the bend here, um, so that I can drop this down a bit further. So that we can maybe it'll maybe not be perfectly horizontal, but we can get it down into that kind of position. So I'm going to have a fiddle around with some heat and just adjusting this bracket. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get that to fit a bit better. So that's next job. Adjusted the uh, angles and things and I've welded up the cracks. Here's the original weld that was done here. And this is one of my welds here and this is the other one here. So actually with a bit of uh, linishing that should look all right. So I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I come to try fitting it. Well that's looking a lot better, um, maybe not quite so pretty on the back but no one's going to see that. Um, so I'm going to do a trial fitment on the bike now, see how it looks. Well here, how, here's how it's looking so far, um, I haven't drilled the two rear holes yet. So it doesn't look uh, 
doesn't look too bad, but because this uh, mud guard's a different radius to the original, um, it doesn't fit properly at the back. So looks like I'm going to do some uh, some filing and uh, work to try and get this radius to match a bit better than that. I'll try and do that without wrecking it. We get in there. Well, there it is on. I've managed to um, reasonably match that radius. You can see that. So that's a rear light um, bracket sorted out and the rear light fitted. So I think we we'll call it a day at that. These, I'm missing one of these reflectors, but I've just looked on the web and uh, you can buy them for about a tenner each, so you should be able to get one of those. So that looks alright. A um, bit of painting to do now, uh, but it's nice to get that, uh, that job behind me. Well, it's about coming up to five o'clock, so I'm going to call it a day there.